The Elson T40 was arguably one of the strangest engines of its time. It was a 1940s American turboprop engine, which was composed of two Allison T38s. A turboprop is a type of jet engine which has been optimized to drive a propeller. They are very efficient at low speeds, and they require less runway for takeoff and landing when compared to a turbojet or a turbofan. However, the main noticeable feature of a turboprop is that a reduction gearbox is needed to slow the RPM of the shaft down to the prop. With the Allison T variants, this was up to 13,000 all the way to 1,000 RPM at props and later models. This was a pretty tall order for the first few variants, because this engine not only had to be efficient, but it also had to drive a fairly large propeller as well. One T38 was composed of a 19-stage actual compressor with a 4-stage turbine. The T38 was first experimented on a B17 in 1947. Eventually, the 2700 horsepower beast was retrofitted to the Convair CV240 and the experimental 88B. Immediate problems were found with gearbox vibration and combustion. However, this design flaw did lead to future variants. One of these variants was the T40, which was composed of two T38s. It seemed like a good idea at the time with a 2.22 power to weight ratio, maxing out at 5500 horsepower. And this particular variant was useful in driving a Kronja rotating propeller. The good idea seemed to dissipate very quickly, as one developed a major oil leak, and after many attempts, it could only be shut down by throwing debris into the intake thus destroying the compressor and decoupling the system. The T40 was also tested with only half the engine running, so basically one T38, and this also resulted in failure with the compressor devouring power, eventually leading to an aircraft crash in 1950. A 7000 horsepower variant was fitted to the Pogo, making it to be the first fixed wing aircraft with VTOL capabilities. However, this aircraft design was also flawed, since pilots had very limited visibility, and it was very difficult to slow down and land. Concerns of its propellers along with poor payload performance quickly ended the program. Some testing of the engine was also carried out in the Hiller X-18, but the craft also had some problems and was abruptly ended as well. So both the T-38 and T-40 had very flawed engine designs, which led to catastrophic results. However, the resilience of this development program also showcased that sometimes dedication can lead to something very phenomenal. And in this particular case, it led to the T-56. This single shaft modular turboprop had a 14 stage actual compressor, once again driven by a 4 stage turbine. However, this one was a little bit more successful, and over 18,000 engines have been produced since 1954. This has amounted to over 200 million flying hours, and the engine has been used in multiple aircraft, including the Convair 580, the C 130 Hercules, and the E 2 Hawkeye. The company Allison was eventually acquired by Rolls Royce in 1995 but many different variants are still used today, which were derived from the original T-56 design. And the T-56 was derived from the T-38. In summary, the modified T-40 was a very flawed and problematic engine. It took about a decade of determination, and the design evolved into a resilient, yet reliable variant, which was used across multiple spectrums of aviation. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about this engine. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.